Verizon has launched new business plans for data devices. Here's all the details. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and Verizon is mixing up all their plans with their new C-band launch and next up is their business data device plans. Now they last refreshed their business 2.0 plans. These were their smartphone plans. And this is just kind of a continuation of those new plans. Uh, so on the smartphone plans, you can get their pro level, which includes 100 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use off of the smartphone for $95 per month. And then previously they had data device plans. You could add one of these on or you could get them standalone for $45 per month and it included 22 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use. So these are the plans that they are replacing this week. The two new options they are calling Business Unlimited Pro and Business Unlimited Plus. Now on the new Pro plan, it is $75 per month and includes 100 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use off of a data-only device. And the new Plus plan is $45 per month, just like the old option, but it now includes 60 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use off of a data-only device. And they are defining data-only devices to be USB modems, laptops, uh, mobile hotspot devices like jetpacks. And we have confirmed that some routers are also passing their IMEI check. So routers seem to be included as well. Now, the terms on these plans, you get the 60 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use. And after that, you are throttled. And Verizon's new standard throttling is if you are on their nationwide 5G network or 4G network, after you hit the cap, you are throttled down to 600 kilobits per second. But if you are on their new uh, UW, so this will include their millimeter wave as well as the brand new C-band mid-band spectrum, uh, you are only throttled down to three megabits per second. So it's not full 5G speeds, but it is also very usable speeds to continue on at. So they are calling these plans unlimited because you do get unlimited data, just only the first bit of the data is at the full speed. Now on these plans for streaming video, it's 720p when you are on 4G or nationwide 5G. When you're on that UW coverage, it is at 4, uh, 4K video if you wish. Uh, these plans do roam into Canada and Mexico at their standard roaming of 500 megabits per day at high speed before you are throttled down. Now what the interesting thing is about these plans is it seems to be the same price, $75 or $45 per month, whether you are adding this on to a business unlimited smartphone plan or you're activating them as a standalone line. So it seems to be the same price and you can check out on Verizon store with just a hotspot or jetpack line for these options. So. When you compare this to the consumer options, it gets a little bit of a mixed bag if these are a better deal or not, because on consumer, they have different prices whether you are going with a standalone uh, data-only device line or if you're adding it on to one of the smartphone lines. For instance, on consumer, they also have a 100 gigabyte option, and the pricing is $90 per month standalone or $60 per month when added on. So the price point for business is right in the middle. But on consumer, you also have a 150 gigabyte option priced at 110 standalone or $80 per month when added on, both of which options brings your per gigabyte pricing below what these new business plans are. So what is the best option for you if you're looking for a lot of Verizon data? Well, just depends upon how you qualify and if you have smartphone lines existing or not. So you'll have to compare the prices on that. Now, there's no other changes to Verizon's business options at this time. Their smartphone lines are staying the same, and they still have also another data-only option for routers and hotspot devices that are 300 gigabyte plans of uh, usage before you are stopped for the month, but those are speed tiered. So for instance, their $69 per month option gives you 300 gigabytes of data off of a data-only device like a hotspot or router, but it is capped at you'll, the maximum speeds you'll get are 10 megabit per second, and they have options all the way up to 50 megabit per second speeds. Uh, if that is another option for you, if you want more data, but you don't really care about getting the maximum speeds as well. So those are the options with business. If you qualify for a plan with Business Department of Verizon, sometimes you can get much better deals than going with consumer. And uh, we'll stay tuned for any other changes the carriers might be making as we continue to roll on into a 5G world. These videos are brought to you by our premium members mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, 
consider becoming a member yourself.